Box. Silence in the court. We are here today to try John McGuilty for the murder of Santa Claus. It had nothing to do with me. Maybe his sleigh got a flat tire, and when he got out to change it, Santa Claus forgot he was flying at an altitude of 3,000 feet. A flat tire? On Santa's sleigh? You're lying, McGuilty, and we have the photos to prove it. Those photos have been digitally altered. Look, they've given me a false mustache. You're right! These photos have been tampered with. They are not admissible as evidence. With your honor's permission, I call the first witness for the prosecution, one of Santa's elves. So, Mr. Elf, what is your occupation at the current time? I make toys for all the good boys and girls in the world. Do you believe that the defendant is the man who murdered your employer? I haven't got a clue, but if someone hadn't murdered him, I'd have done it myself. Santa Claus made us sleep in packing crates and wrap Christmas presents 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This witness sounds too squeaky. Have you got any more? Yes, but he prefers not to reveal his true identity. Were you there when Mr. McGuilty cruelly murdered Santa Claus? Yeah, I saw him. It was horrible. And right now I'm terrified because if that madman knew who I was, he'd kill me too. God damn it. My nose always lights up at the worst possible moment. No need to worry. The defendant will never find out who you really are. Now, does the defense have any questions? Yeah, number two across. There are seven letters. The name of the reindeer with the shiny red nose who pulls Santa's sleigh. I know that one. R-U-D-O-L-P-H. Rudolph. Oh, damn. I have no more questions, Your Honor. Well, guilty? I'm going to find you guilty as charged. Wait a minute. Christmas is canceled, but is that such a terrible thing? Tell me, have you bought your wife's present yet? Uh, no. Well, you know, when you do buy it, she's not going to like it anyway, whatever it is, and you'll be in the doghouse all over again. With Christmas erased from the calendar, husbands and wives will live in harmony because no one will ever have to buy anything for anyone. Ah, you know you're right. In fact, you're a genius. You're a free man, McGuilty. I don't know if that's the right decision, Your Honor. Well, that's because you don't know my wife. Well, um, in fact, I do. We've been seeing each other for a few months now. I love her. Ah, thank you very much. You're welcome to her. And if you want the kids, you're welcome to them, too. This court is adjourned.